you guys so I've just gotten out of the shower I have wet hair and I have absolutely no makeup on me literally nothing um, I am about to shoot a really natural makeup look for you I'm going out for lunch and I was hoping to sort of keep the look really nice and simple today of course covering my dark circles and concealing this little pimple zittish thing that I have on me since the past two three days uh, but nothing that's oh my god there's so much makeup on her I want to go really really natural with this look and I thought of making a tutorial for you guys since I'm heading out anyway so before I get started with this look I realized that a little bit of my kajal from last night is still stuck somewhere uh -huh, on my under eyes I did wash my face and took out all my makeup last night if you remember I did do a get unready with me video a couple of weeks ago I'm gonna link that right down below in case you've missed out on it um, unfortunately I think that when I washed my face there was some residue of the coal uh, from inside my eyes with it spread out so with the help of my Lotus Herbal very favorite cleanser and a little bit of cotton I'm just gonna first take this out and moisturize my skin Now with that out of the way, I'm gonna start with first concealing my under eyes. Very recently I learned that based on my skin color, an orange and a red corrector is essential to sort of even out my dark circles. I did really really like one color from Cryolin when I was there recently, uh, but I didn't land up picking it up simply because around the same time I came across this video which was totally viral all over the internet about this Indian girl based in USA who tried to do the same thing that a corrector does with the help of her lipstick. Ever since I saw that video, believe me, I've been doing this. This is Max So Short. Um, I have shamelessly been taking a little bit on the tip of my fingers and applying it here. And I didn't have to spend for a corrector at all because this is doing it so well. This is just doing the job. I don't see why I should have to spend extra for a corrector. So if you haven't tried this already or seen that tutorial, let me know in the comment section below and I will be happy to do a special tutorial only for this. I'm just gonna put very little of the lipstick, not too much. Now that I've put a little bit of the orange corrector lipstick here, I'm gonna take Max Concealer and gently sort of dab it which will help me blend and even and get the right skin tone on my under eyes. This is very very little. I love a natural makeup look as opposed to the extremely contoured Kim Kardashian style one. I like to keep it simple and natural and with this particular look I'm aiming to go as minimal as possible. Now there are two options you can do over here. One is you can just start blending and use this as your absolute base. Keeping in mind that I like my makeup to stay on me through the day because I know I'm gonna be out for the entire day. I don't like to do touch-ups. I don't like the whole process of having to do like 10 touch-ups every time you walk into an office or about to leave the office or when you go to the washroom. So I'm just gonna take a drop, literally just a drop of Lacme's Absolute Face Stylist. The shade I'm using here is 03 Golden Medium. With the help of my little sponge over here or a brush whatever I'm experimenting with new things so I have a little sponge here in my hand I'm gonna take just this one little drop and gently dab it all over my face one of the newest things I started sort of trying out and experimenting with is uh, not putting anything up here because I realize I'm going to put eyeshadow on it anyway. So it just doesn't really make a difference whether or not I have base on it. I'm just going to put the color that I like and apply it accordingly. Now that I think I've blended as much as I could with the help of this little sponge, I go back to my much more comfortable medium which is the brush. Now to seal the look in, I have MAC Studio Fix Compact. Uh, the shade I wear is NC42. One of the key secrets behind getting the absolute natural look with your makeup is making sure you don't land up overdoing your eyes and eyeshadow. Uh, I have Zoeva's kit here with me. If you guys remember, I did show this to you already in a haul in a number of tutorials before. I will link them down below if you have missed out on it so far. 
and um, what I'm gonna do is take a really nice and natural nude the one I'm gonna use is this one right here I'm gonna mix it with a little light pink mixing these two really natural shades is going to give me the exact skin tone that I'm looking for for a very natural look fill up your eyelid socket area make sure you don't overdo it because you want to stick with the natural look so stay within the crease line and just make sure you gently blend the whole thing with the color of your skin remember that you can never not highlight your brow bone irrespective of whether you're wearing eyeshadow or not here with me I have max regal affair it's a silvery white to finish the eye look I'm gonna take my curler and curl my lashes And of course, the second part to this is wearing your mascara. I'm gonna wear about two layers because I want a really nice, pretty lashes kind of look since I'm skipping the eyeliner. On my cheeks, I'm gonna be wearing Max Mineralized Plush. The shade is called Sweet Sentiment. And to absolutely finish the look, I have Lancome's Lip Lover. The shade I'm using is 338. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go over, untie my hair and give it a nice towel dry. I do need to get going and meet my friends on time for lunch. So I will see you guys next time. But if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.